Okay, so uh, this morning we got the rest of the insulation in and we got all the sheetrock up. And I know what you're thinking, John, it's amazing, true. But also you're probably thinking, how do you cut those circles and make them so perfect? Well, those lights come with a template. A template is something you can trace. And you sit there and cut it out by hand. Or perhaps you've got a circle cutter. And if you notice, that's the same size. So we just drill the hole in the center and then and out goes the thing. And then we're like, wow, that's all this. Now, I was talking to somebody the other day, a good friend of mine, and he said that when he was younger, <clears throat> he used to stutter really badly. Something traumatized him. And so he, um, he couldn't talk for a while. And then when he did talk, he stuttered badly. And so we were like, well, how did you fix that? And he goes, I went to a speech therapist. And he goes, this is what they told me that really helped me more than anything. If I get to stuttering, find a rhythm and then go with the rhythm. Like songs, like music, if you have a rhythm, then it's easier for you to lock into that rhythm and then say the words and then, you know, say it slow first until you get it right and then say it faster and faster and faster. And I was like, you know, that is pretty interesting. I like that. But also, I have tremendous respect for people who overcome their handicaps, who don't use it as an excuse, right? They, they just go, this is a problem. How do I deal with this problem? This will take work. I'm going to do the work and I'm going to overcome this. That to me, I'm just like, yeah, man, you go. Because after a while, if you've got a handicap, and trust me, I've got plenty of them, you start to wear out, wear out your welcome, right? People are like, oh, I'm tired of helping you out. And there, there are some handicaps that, you know, like my handicaps are stupid things, like uh, I'm ugly. And, uh, you know, like sometimes when I'm screwing in and I'm like, oh, I missed it by three quarters of an inch, I need to go over to the left three quarters and things like that. But I can't back up a trailer. Other people have handicaps that are debilitating and, you know, like you can't grow legs back or something. Um, but if you're in that position, at least be nice to the people that are helping you out. They're sacrificing for you, so be nice to them. And also find a way, find a way around it. Like grow some legs by putting on fake legs. I knew a guy, uh, I used to be at Jesus People USA in Chicago. And there was a guy I didn't realize, Tony Croak is his name, that um, he didn't have legs. And so I was staying at his place and he's a musician and you know, he'd walk around and walk around for days, right? However long I knew him. And then at night he kind of took his legs off and I was just like, is that, is that some kind of trickery? And he's like, oh no, I, don't, I was born without legs. You know, they, they're tapered down or whatever. And I've got this fake thing I put on there. I'm like, that's awesome, man. Like, I think that's cool. Anyway, we're gonna go have some lunch.